Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, jumping back into the fray with another matchup on Grudge Match, the show that collides the titans of the comic book worlds against each other in one-on-one -on -one matches to determine who would come out ahead in battles between characters who aren't likely to cross paths on the page. Today's collision of power pits the two premier wonders of DC and Marvel against each other. From DC, the Olympian and Amazonian-bred God of War, Wonder Woman, and from Marvel, the ionic-fueled Avenger powerhouse, Wonder Man. These two characters are very comparable in terms of being the kind of classic superhero who flies around and uses super strength and durability to pummel their opponents, so that puts them on relatively equal footing power-wise, despite the vast differences in their origins. Now taking a look at those origins and starting with Wonder Woman, created for DC Comics in 1941. Diana of Themyscira was born of clay and empowered by multiple Greek gods in her original conception. Her mother, Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazonians, wanted a daughter and the Olympian gods told her to fashion one out of clay. Once she did, the gods granted it life and the different gods empowered specific powers and gifts upon her, thus making her the magic-fueled powerhouse that she is today. A more recent redefinition of her backstory said that that origin was actually just a legend, and in fact, Diana was born because of an affair between Hippolyta and the king of the gods, Zeus, and that she is in fact half-god herself, a demigod, and that's where her powers come from. But whatever her true backstory is, her powers have been well established throughout the years in DC Comics. She has the ability of flight, virtual indestructibility, superhuman strength on par with the heaviest of heavy hitters of the DC Universe, including Superman and Shazam, incredible speed and resistance to magic being a magic-based character herself. And then she also brings some specific powered weapons into the fight, specifically her most famed weapon, her Lasso of Truth, a magic unbreakable, indestructible lasso that once somebody is tied up in, they are virtually unable to escape from, and it compels them to tell the truth, and in some cases can even compel them to obey the commands of the holder of the lasso. She also has indestructible bracelets, and combined with her speed and reflexes, she can use these to augment her already above average durability. She uses these to deflect any kind of incoming projectiles, be those physical weapons like bullets, arrows, and the like, or energy-based attacks as well. She has to do this because, despite her heightened level of indestructibility, she is not completely invulnerable to harm. Specifically, piercing weapons can cause injury to her, though not life-threatening injury. They can still potentially break her skin, cut her, cause her to bleed. But with her speed and agility and reflexes, these bracelets make up for that drawback. Also in more recent comics, she's taken to always carrying an Amazonian sword, a very, very sharp weapon that is capable of cutting things even at the microscopic level. In addition, she is easily the most skilled warrior and fighter of the entire Justice League, possibly second only to Batman in terms of pure hand-to-hand -hand fighting, but then throw in her incredible powers, that makes her more than a match for even the most powerful of heavy hitters. Her fighting skills are so honed and so advanced that she has been made the god of war by the Greek pantheon of gods in the DC Universe. These skills and powers have combined to make Wonder Woman one of the most powerful and most enduring characters in the entirety of the comic worlds. Marvel's Wonder Man, first created in 1964, his real name is Simon Williams and he was the heir of a company called Williams Innovation. When his father passed away, Simon took over the company and was quickly found to be losing ground to the more prominent and more popular Stark Industries. So he had a lot of hatred towards Tony Stark, the man known as Iron Man, early on, and he was approached by Baron Zemo to join the then incarnations of the Masters of Evil. Zemo thinking that William's intelligence and his business acumen and his money would be a boon to the Masters of Evil. Zemo also chose to use Simon Williams as a test subject for his latest invention, which was the Ionic Ray. It was a machine that was supposed to be able to give super strength, 
and invulnerability to the person it was used on, but he needed a test subject for it, and he used Simon Williams to do that. The Ionic Ray worked perfectly, in fact it worked better than Zemo ever could have anticipated, and it gave Wonder Man all of the powers that he has had all the way up until modern day. Those powers are science-based, but they are Ionic-based as well. They made his body infused fully with Ionic energy. While he still technically has a physical body, he can turn it completely into Ionic energy and become a being of pure energy. And even when he is back in his physical form, he doesn't have blood running through his veins, his organs don't necessarily need to function, he has no need to eat, sleep, or breathe, he is completely self-sufficient, and his body can heal itself from vast injuries, even if he were to lose a limb or something, he can regenerate it through his ionic energy. Also, the ionic energy absorption has increased his physical stats to incredible levels. He is one of the strongest beings in the Marvel Universe. And while he hasn't been utilized a lot in recent Marvel comics, his strength at its peak is on par with that of incredibly powerful characters such as the Hulk or the Sentry. As is his level of invulnerability. Because his body is so infused with ionic energy, it makes him nigh invulnerable to almost all kinds of damage. It takes incredible strength and force to injure Wonder Man, and even if he is injured, he can heal from it pretty quickly because of his ionic powers. Originally, he wasn't able to fly under his own power, and he would wear a belt with jets on it to enable him to fly. But as his powers developed and evolved over the years, he eventually learned to produce his own flight, as well as he gained the ability to harness his ionic energy to fire blasts of energy out of his hands or eyes. So he can now fly, he can move at superhuman speeds, and his ionic form has made him virtually immortal. In fact, in some of the future timelines in Marvel Comics, Wonder Man is seen as being alive hundreds or even thousands of years in the future. In fact, in the original Guardians of the Galaxy run, which dealt with superheroes in the 31st century, Wonder Man is there, he's still alive and becomes an ally of the Guardians, going by the name Hollywood, and still in full possession of his powers and a very powerful character, even then, hundreds of years later. So both super strong, super fast, super durable, super powered powerhouses, but who's going to prove to be the more prominent wonder when these two characters collide? The winner's gonna be Wonder Woman. It could be said that Wonder Man is the more durable of the two, however, Wonder Woman is really only vulnerable to piercing weapons, not so much so when it comes to impacts. She can take hits and punches from characters like Superman without being knocked out or even all that injured by them. That would be the kind of attack Wonder Man would be leveling against Wonder Woman. So in that regard, the type of fighting both these characters are going to engage in, their durability is on relatively equal footing. However, Wonder Woman is the vastly superior fighter between the two. Wonder Man is more skilled than your average fighter, but he highly utilizes his superpowers rather than fighting skill. So Wonder Woman would probably offer up far more offense against Wonder Man than he would be able to turn back at her. And despite his ionic powers and high level of invulnerability, it is possible to knock Wonder Man unconscious, give it enough strength and force. Additionally, one of the reasons that Wonder Man has been so underutilized by Marvel Comics in recent years is because he has a lot of confidence issues and it has resulted in him quitting the superhero business multiple times. It has resulted in him attempting to attack the Avengers, thinking that they cause more harm than good. And it's caused him to become a pacifist at some point, renouncing all violence altogether. So his confidence level and ability to utilize his powers to their fullest extent are probably going to be diminished over that of Wonder Woman, a supremely confident and unflappable character who is unshakable in her will and determination. So all of these things are going to give Wonder Woman the edge over Wonder Man in this competition, and DC's going to take home the win today. Message me down below, let me know what you think of the outcome of this fight, as well as, of course, any suggestions for future matchups. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.